My name is Dr. Dinesh Shua and I'm the chairman of the Pharmaceutical Export Promotion Council, promoted by the Ministry of Commerce and Government of India. I am indeed excited to be a part of ABI and NADES Forum of Informal Markets. Uh, insofar as the Indian ABI industry is concerned, it has had a checkered history in terms of the fact that when I passed out of Indian Institute of Management in Ahmedabad, way back in 1979, we were net importers of both the APIs and formulations. I joined the then Heads from Suricles Limited, currently rechristened of merger and acquisition as Sanofi Aventus Limited. And our job was to make sure that we import both the APIs and to some extent formulations, keeping the profits back home in Germany and ensuring that least amount of taxation is paid out to the government of India. From then on, from 1980 to about, about 2000, things have changed dramatically. India has become the pharmacy to the world supplying to 206 out of 211 countries. API industry is very different from formulation. The current market is close to about $10 billion, out of which $4 billion are exported to highly regulated markets like US, Europe, Japan, Korea, Turkey and so on and so forth, Mexico proceed as well. And about equal amount of value of APIs are imported into the country, predominantly 70% to be precise, from China. The current Indian pharmaceutical industry is valued at about $42 billion, which is vertically divided into $21 billion each for domestic and exports. Whereas the contribution of imports of advanced intermediates before the moiety is formed for exports is only about 20%. The domestic market, which is also sizable and growing at about 10 to 11% year on year, is vulnerably dependent on the Chinese imports to the extent of almost 90%. Now that obviously has been a threat to our independence uh, in terms of API, because if API is not there, the formulation is not going to be there. And therefore, looking at this vulnerability and insecurity of supply from the neighboring country, uh, the government of India during COVID uh, pandemic, which has hit us since the last week of March and continues to grow very rapidly as of today, it's become, it's become absolutely clear that India has to have self-sufficiency and the government of India under the dynamic leadership, leadership of uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji has taken a cabinet decision which is constituted of three elements. Element number one is that 3,000 crores is being allocated for three pharma parks which are going to tentatively be allocated to Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Bati or Himachal Pradesh for that matter. So 1,000 crores each for the pharma parks. These parks may not be of the same size as that China or 10,000 acres of their parts. But we expect this to be anything between 200 acres to about 500 acres. Secondly, uh, there are 53 APIs and KSMs with, for which India is uh, exclusively dependent vulnerably on the Chinese imports. And in case of such 53 APIs, uh, government has provided eight, rupees 8,000 crores uh, to be given as incentive uh, you know, from a base of zero because we are totally dependent on China uh, to the extent of what 20% on the incremental sales. So since the base level is zero, if you were to make let's say 100 rupees worth of ABI, you would get 20 rupees in incentive and the total cost to you would be 80 rupees with which you can go and compete in the global market as well as in the domestic market. Thirdly and very importantly is the capital subsidy. Uh, whatever capital is invested in a green field API facility or KSM facility, there will be 12% capital subsidy given every year for the next eight years so that your capital uh, is productively utilized and you get a uh, you, you get a refund of the entire capital uh, that you have invested into this initiative. Now with these three wonderful initiatives as also a great emphasis both by Ministry of Commerce as well as Ministry of Family Welfare and uh, health, besides of course, Ministry of Fertilizers and Chemicals and under the dynamic leadership of Secretary DOP Shri Piri Vagera, 
and his deputy, Joint Secretary Mr. Brindwa, uh, India is going to make rapid strides mm -hmm. for becoming self-sufficient in these APIs. COVID has been an eye-opener. For the last 10 years, we were taking it up with the government, but nothing was really happening. But now, with such a renewed and vigorous attention provided under PMO, Niti IO, as also by Honorable Prime Minister, who has, uh, who has termed India as a pharmacy for the world, we would like to make India so self-sufficient and reliant in APIs that it can be favorably compared to the ascendancy and rapid growth that we have registered in the case of formulations supplying to the US to the extent of 40% of the volley share or market share as we call it in the generic uh, space of the United States, 30% in Europe and overall rest of the world about 29%. Thereby the overall share of the formulation being 30%. Currently, uh, you know, our $10 billion uh, worth of market, $4 billion is exported as I said earlier. $4 billion is imported and the balance $2 billion is captively utilized from the API industry. We want to transform this industry in the next five years to a dependence of only about 30-40% and in the next five years, that's in all about 10 years with the kind of incentive and impetus provided by the government of India through industry academia collaboration, a proactive one of that as is the case with the West. We want to make sure that in the next 10 years, we start taking a market share of close to about 20 to 30 percent in the rest of the world and entire supply for the Indian market is sourced from India. So with this vision, I am very excited to be participating in this forum of API and NADS. Thank you very much. Mandal.